Today I'm showcasing the enthralling abandoned house of the Belgian couple Marcel and Marie. People of strict Roman Catholic faith once spent the greatest time of their lives within the four walls of this lavish home. However, their undisturbed happiness ended when Mr. Marcel passed away. Mrs. Marie was left as a widow and her mental health deteriorated because of indescribable grief. Although her loneliness was soon filled by several cats, she was anything but before and started to cope with a hoarding disorder. She exorbitantly started saving items from cans of cat food to religious Maria statues, items that others may regard worthless were ultimately precious in her eyes. Her persistent difficulties parting with possessions led to clutter that disrupted her ability to use her living spaces. Following, her physical health also descended and she started neglecting herself. After years of living in appalling conditions, the woman died in 2011 and as of today, everything in the house is still left as it once was. place I'm gonna show you today is mind-boggling people. This is by far the most impressive collector's mansion I have ever explored. And all of that in the country of Belgium. Today I'm gonna show you the home of Marcel and Marie. But the story of this place is also quite sad because their passion for collecting actually took a downturn. It actually turned in a mental illness. Hoarding. Some people might know the term, some people might not. Hoarding is an extreme mental illness in which people just cannot get rid of items anymore and eventually they just keep on collecting and collecting them. One little example, these people evidently had cats and one room is just entirely filled with cans of cat food. You can literally almost not move yourself in some of the rooms anymore. Yet in contrast, there is one room filled with all those Roman Catholic religious statues that will blow your mind. It's already getting a little bit dark outside, so let's stop the talking and let's start exploring.
although the house only consists of one floor, it was a quite big and spacious home. We will start this exploration in the living room. And have a look, it's giant. I do not know where to start in this place. Let's just start over here in the corner with a wonderful grandfather clock right in front of me. Wow. Even the details of where are just painted inside. I'm not gonna touch it anymore because it's literally near to collapse. There are so many different types of collections. The first collection was actually a passion for oil lamps in many different colors and shapes. Wow. These people even made stained glass in between their windows. Isn't that gorgeous? Some wonderfully wooden carved chairs over here. Trust me, this place will absolutely blow you away. Like it did to me as well. My gosh. Like I said, plenty of different oil lamps. And the place actually got abandoned in 2011. The place is literally wide open and that's what makes it so strange. How can the place not be looted? And why is it still so well preserved? A wonderful chandelier over here. Well, one of the answers might be that Belgium has a very low crime rate. Oh, this was a complete book with a collection of postal stamps from different European countries. Those were all French postal stamps. And imagine that right now, all these collections of dedicated work and sleepless nights is just going to waste. Incredibly sad. And this is not the only book. No, this one, that one. I mean, I will pen one other one out. This one is actually from Belgian postal stamps. My gosh. Well, all of these books are filled with postal stamps. And that's not even all, there is even more. <laughs> Just wait for it, because over here is even more and there is even more to follow. During this explore, you will not even have enough time to actually see everything. So yeah, what I recommend is just pausing the video sometimes so you can have a better look at everything. Wow. Just slowly gonna go through everything now. Also some porcelain figurines here. Beautiful china plates. I really like this cabinet too. The glass windows over there in the upper compartment. It's incredibly sad that no one is caring about this place anymore and that the place is just wide open. I really hope that no vandals or looters will find out about it because that will do a lot of harm to the place, I'm afraid. Some dead plants over here. <laughs> On the shelves, it's still entirely stuffed with crystal, but also with plates. Every single thing is still left inside of this place. On top of there 
are maybe even 20 or 25 coffee grinders. Old fashioned ones. A large collection again. And then the other part of the living room. Around 30 paintings are just displayed on the wall. It is mesmerizing to look at and I can walk through this place for hours and hours and hours. But let's just continue because the daylight is rather scarce and I hope to be able to show most of this place to you in proper daylight. Over here, like you've seen, was a PC. Religious statues over here. And I do not know if you are able to hear it, but this broken clock over here is still ticking and you can see it. Sometimes you really ask yourself, why? And this is an extreme one of those cases. Over here, a complete collection of LPs, for example. And all are still inside. I think the complete cabinet is stuffed. Oh, on this side, it's not. <laughs> there was also a lube over here. I think the Sony television was from around the 2000s. Wow. <laughs> I'm so, so wondering what you are thinking about this place so far. But honestly, the most incredible part is still to follow. So just keep on watching this video and already leave a reply in the comment section about your thoughts of this place. I think this was used to put the coal in and everything for the fireplace, yeah. Wonderful with these lions on its design. This was definitely the liquor cabinet. Wow. Also have a look at the tiles around the fireplace. Again, there is lions on these tiles. There are so many details to point out. So this will probably be a pretty long video, but it will certainly be worth a watch. And yeah, you are probably hearing it. There is a lot of traffic and that's right. This place is literally in the middle of a city, but still it is just left in this condition. And you can see the door over there. It is widely opened. Unbelievable. All right, let's just continue before I lose too much time. This was actually a carriage, but they use it as a flower face. These people definitely really like flowers and plants. Over here, some beautiful statues. Looks like plaster. You can also tell that there is plenty of mess on the grounds. And those are mostly magazines and newspapers that they just couldn't get rid of as they were hoarders. Atlas from 2005. Well, probably the most valuable and impressive thing inside of this room is right in front of me right now. And that's the wooden carved religious statue of this angel. 
my gosh. You just can't believe that something like this, in this great condition, and this rare, is just left behind inside of an abandoned place. I'm lost for words. climb over this sofa to actually reach the kitchen and this is the part where their hoarding becomes obvious and not visible. visible <laughs> there are maybe 100 pizza boxes paperwork everything is thrown around in this kitchen bottles cans of drinks it is unbelievable. And like the calendar date says, 2011. It's such a big contrast with the other room. This was actually storage for drinks. And it's also entirely stuffed. There are even still food products left behind on the shelves. <laughs> And some canned food as well over there. Damn. And honestly, it is very, very smelly inside of here. Not only because of all the rotting food and drinks, but also because these people had maybe even 10 or 12 cats. And there is still a lot of cat poop too. So have a look at the downside of my shoe. That's what happens to you if you do exploring. <laughs> this will probably never even go off my shoes anymore. It's all just dried cat droppings. But yeah, in this case, it's definitely worth it to me. And I hope you appreciate it. So yeah, I will just do a quick walk through to the kitchen as I think it's very messy. This is a moment you realize how can people have so much stuff. <laughs> Food boxes on the ground and everything. Jikes. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what a mess a person can make throughout their lives. <laughs> well, over here you can see that they clearly had cats. Because this is also still left over here. And then right over here are actually some old photos on the wall. The man might have even been a pastor because there is a photo of him. I guess it is him at least. Or it was just a picture of the local pastor when they went to the church. Over here, a person on a bike. Looks long ago. And this could have been a couple. And on top of there, maybe they had three grandchildren? It's possible. All right, so let's continue through this huge junkyard. And it's even getting worse, people. If you thought you'd seen everything. Damn. 
trying to walk through everything as careful as possible, but yeah, don't blame me if I demolish anything that is laying on the ground. I try my best. There was even a bathroom over here. Because they possess so many items they couldn't get rid of, even the bathroom is just used for storage now. The shower cabin. My gosh. A bag of Tommy Hilfiger. It's so narrow here. What is this? Oh, those are actually old clocks over here. And these things could have been a part of an oil lamp or they were just vases. Wow. You can clearly tell that they just couldn't get rid of all their items and possessions and antiques. They were just too valuable for them to just throw away. Some very old books over here. I remember that I found books like this in a castle in France, but it's strange to see them now in just a regular Belgium home. They are very old, by the way. Mostly of the 1920s and 1930s, but the first edition is even from 1911. Some beautiful old clocks over here. That's another thing they definitely collected. And then right over here is their garage. And the only way to walk through this place is literally by boxes and pizza boxes they have just placed on the ground. Furthermore, it's literally only cat food and everything. It's ridiculous. So yeah, let's try to move myself through this huge dump. My gosh. Well, there is also some mechanic things and also a seat for horse riding. So maybe the people also owned horses. There is even still fresh cat food. So delicious. <laughs> if they didn't have enough, there were still even more. They had a huge storage of cat food. Apparently they were afraid that the cats would get hungry. One thing for sure, I think the cats had a good life inside of this place. Walking over the boxes to make my way through the next areas. This was kind of a working space, I think. Mostly with gardening equipment. Dang. <sighs> Look at all the stuff. It's literally all just left to rot here. And also not just the cat food again, over there, over there. Everywhere. So this is the definition of a hoarder's house, people. What's that over there? Oh, well, apparently this was another storage of them. And also another collection of these jugs. And a lot of pots and vases for the flowers. Let's check out the freezer. Oh my gosh, it's entirely stuffed with meat, chicken, all the food products are still in there. <laughs> oh, 
let's get out of here. But it was very smelly. Oh, that was probably one of the most intense and awful smells I ever had inside of an abandoned place. Let's continue. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. So right over here, this was once their main door. I'm standing in the hallway right now. Imagine one day the people just walk inside of here every day. Also another wonderful grandfather clock here, by the way. I love the ornaments over here in the glass bulbs. Oh, there is even more postal stems inside. Just have a look. If it wants to focus at least. It doesn't want. Yeah, well, <laughs> even plenty of boxes with matches. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. And at the same time, it's so unreal. A spinning wheel over here. I think over here they could actually place their umbrellas and their walking canes. A wonderful painting of a winter town. Just have a look at all the details. Even on top of the door entrance there. Beautiful carvings. Of this deer with the antler. Well, are you ready for the most incredible religious room you probably have ever seen in your life it is right in front of me right now let's go <laughs> all those things on the wall are actually religious ornaments crucifixes Buckets with holy water, probably around three, four hundred, maybe even more. It's the most incredible thing concerning religion that I have ever found. Of course, I've explored wonderful abandoned churches, but something like this tops everything. For real. It is just unbelievable. And if you thought that was everything, even the entire cabinet over here is stuffed with all those religious things. And on top of the wall over here is even more. I just still can't believe it. I'm so happy that almost nothing seems to be stolen. Most of the mess that was made was actually from the hoarders themselves. <laughs> Where is even a porcelain figurine of Napoleon? And by the way, this part of the cabinet you could actually bend open and then you had a bed. <laughs> so one day this was actually used as a bedroom. 
Maybe when their grandchildren came over. There was also still some children clothes there. Damn. Everything is entirely stuffed. And most of it are no cheap items, to be honest. There's a beautiful old doll there. A vintage television. And slowly, the sun is going down. My gosh. Just have a look at the lamp. <laughs> That's all these religious ornaments. I don't know where to start. I'm just slowly gonna go through all of them. <laughs> this is a dream. This is really a dream coming true. I think all urban explorers one day in their life are hoping to encounter something like this. This is absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> it does not even feel real, people. <laughs> I just love this. This is why I love this hobby. And I'm so happy that I'm able to share this wonderful gem with all of you today. So many, so many religious statues. I still find it strange that these people made so much mess, but one day they were so well organized, especially for this religious collection. Everything was just positioned so pristine and it still is. You can definitely tell. Also a lot of wonderful china. <laughs> this is a gold mine. Well, the last one to show you is this one over here. So unreal. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Just because I'm so curious, people, leave in the comment section what you thought about that religious room. And if it fascinated and excited you as much as it did to me. We're continuing now. We are in a little hallway. Still some coats hanging up. Where are just many boxes of items they bought. And what I also noticed is that they just bought some items. They unpacked them, but they even never used them. As an example of that is actually right over here. This heater 
fresh out of the box, but it's still standing straight next to it. Of course, these people never had enough storage. It didn't happen often that my camera lens was not wide enough to show everything, but in this case it actually is. And then we are in another part, with some wonderful paintings again on the wall. And this magnificent bust. I also really like the mirror over here. Wow, look at this bust and also the pillar where it's standing on. And ironically on the bust has been written, Pussy. And yeah, that means kitty in Belgium. <laughs> and talking about kitties, this is what I was talking about. This entire bedroom is filled with over 1,000 cans and bags of cat food. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Let's just try to make my way through there. <laughs> Meanwhile, because of the cat poop, this bag is just sticking on my shoes. People. <laughs> Have a look at this. Over here, even still the toys of their cats in their house. Everything is stuffed. How on earth can a person make so much mess and just never clean it? I mean, those are just cans of cat food. Why can't you get rid of it? One day this place was their bedroom. <laughs> Damn. Look at all these cloths of wool that were used for the cats to play with. <laughs> Damn. These cats had a good life here for sure. I'm really thinking that they had such a strong passion for their cats and for yeah, their hoarding that they were actually at a certain point of their lives, sadly enough, neglecting themselves. I really think that's the case and that's what happened in this place. Because this is beyond normal. <laughs> My gosh. Although it might be one of the most beautiful collector's houses I've ever seen in Belgium, it's also by far one of the most strangest ones. Cigar box. Where are still some old francs? It's the old currency of Belgium. Well, the cats definitely played over here. Another collection of them. I think it's from St. Katharina the saying. A huge collection of holiday wish cards of this woman. A giant book. And another collectible over here. 
Wow. Looks like those were all French postal cards of old and historic and demolished buildings. Cities as well. Oh, by the way, also some landmarks in Belgium, like I can see. Oh, this was all about Ypres. That's actually where a huge war battle was fought. And it collected all these old photos of this devastating event. Very interesting to just bend through. Well, these people were kept busy with a lot. What's this collective blue again? Oh, it's empty. At least, no, it's not. Many other different things again about Brussels. Expositions in Brussels from every year, starting in the 1800s even. Where they had a bathroom attached to the bathroom. What is this? What is this? This looks like a very weird substance. I definitely do not want to touch it, but I'm gonna zoom in. Honestly, I think this entire bathtub is filled with cat poop and it's extremely smelly so I'm getting out of here I tried to get as close as I could hopefully you could capture a glimpse of it too and leave your thoughts about it right now in the comment section Whoa, that was squeaking. Just some clothes over here, some towels. Are those even real hair? I think so. Doesn't look like a wig, but literally real hair. <coughs> it's time to walk down the last corridor. Everything over here is legit untouched. No way. Oh. Have a look at this painting. With all the nuns, it's giant. This must be worth thousands, if not 100 thousands. My gosh. It is lifelike. So realistic, so well detailed. I'm curious what other painting is right behind it, but I'm actually too afraid to demolish the other ones. But this is also a beautiful one. Of course, I'm just gonna leave it because this painting must be Extremely heavy, but it's just standing here in the corner. Probably they bought it and they did not even have space to place it somewhere. This clearly was not a bedroom. I think one day for the children when they were raised up inside of the home. But when they moved out and went living on themselves, I think they also started to use this room as storage. Plenty of magazines again, just random chairs. Well, and then there is a wonderful cupboard again. 
with many cute and beautiful ornaments. Another wonderful bust over there too. Okay, so lastly we're going to walk to the end of the corridor. There were two lost rooms waiting for us. It's also a pretty cool and detailed ornament. I quite like it. Also there is one, a knight on a horse. And then in front of me, you probably are already guessing it, another bedroom. I really like the grooming kit. A clock. Another massive statue. Plenty of collectibles again. Even on top. All these jugs. This is a place where you can <laughs> literally wander around for hours and hours. I even spent already two hours inside this place making photos and just going through old documents. I really hope soon enough it will be appreciated again and mostly that everything will be saved all the relics before wrong people with bad intentions find out about this wonderful gem. A portrait of a family ancestor. Look at all the splendid artwork inside of this room. It's literally everywhere. There is so much that you cannot even see it properly. Over there at the end is even another portrait of a family ancestor. Many old historic books, encyclopedias, Bibles, everywhere. All those books were dictionaries, old dictionaries, all of them. This is like an art gallery. There is even more coffee grinders inside of this box. Oh my. I have to be very careful. I really do not want to demolish anything. Incredible. The family history also must be quite rich concerning the great amount of portraits of family ancestors. <laughs> I wish I could go through all of them, but it's impossible. And I would just want to keep things in place and preserve it as it is. This place was just bizarre. I never even expected to find something like this. You can clearly see and tell by the look on my face that I'm lost for words. Anyways, I really appreciate that I could actually see this place. I'm really happy that I could share it with all of you. And yeah, all I can still ask you for is Leave your comment down below in the comment section about your opinion, your thoughts, all feedback is always appreciated. If you want to help and boost this video in YouTube's algorithm, also do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. And yeah, you can subscribe for free to our channel if you do not want to miss out on any future episodes. 
Also, if you want to support us, that's possible through Patreon. You can become a Patreon for at least as $2 a month and we give you access to exclusive bonus material, bonus episodes and everything. And it's also a great way for us to actually be able to finance all this traveling, all our gas expenses and yeah, do more urbex and make more videos for you. And then lastly, I want to thank you for watching once again and we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.